Okay, this one's complex and it took me a while to get it. So we're gonna use some if statements for this status. What I wanted to happen was when I check the box, the status changes to either done if it's checked or in progress if not. But I only wanted this to happen if there was writing in the B column. So I'm gonna jump right in with the formula that I use. And like I said, it took me a while. So click the equals button, open the formula bar. We're starting with an if statement. An if statement basically says if something is happening in a cell, if it's a true value, this will happen. If it's a false value, something else will happen. That will make sense as we go through. So the first thing I wanted to make sure the box of E knew is that if the B column was blank, it was going to produce some blank as well. So I'm using is blank as the formula. So if whatever B I'm using, we're gonna start with B2 because I am writing my cell in E2. So if B2 is blank, then what I'm gonna do is some quotation marks, but in the quotation marks, it's going to be blank as well. So what that's saying is if B2 is blank, the outcome is going to be blank in E. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell the cell. The second thing I wanted to tell the cell was another if statement about that tick box, but also related to that B column as well. So I needed to use for this one, if and, because I had two conditions that it was working on. So I type if and, and now I'm giving it two things that it needs to work on. The first thing is whether the box is checked or unchecked. So for this one, I need to add in some other statements as well. So I'm going to click on my um, tick box. So if A2 is positive, this will happen. And if it's negative, something else. Then I'm going to add in the next thing it's going to be looking at for that and statement. So I'm going to use this time is text. This means if there is text in the B column and that A column is ticked, it's going to give me one of two things. If it's true, if both of those things happen, it's going to say done. So if the box is checked and there's text in that B column, it's gonna say done. If it's not true, if it's not having a checked box in A and there is not writing in that um, B column, it's going to say in progress. But don't forget, only if there's writing in there. Or oh, I've just got one of those um, brackets in the wrong place closed, so we just need to fix that. Making sure those brackets are closed in the right place and taking the one off the end. Okay, so we've got a lot going on there. You might need to slow it down and just have a look. But uh, remember, we're starting with, we don't want that B column to be blank. We want to make sure that that tick box is either ticked, which makes it a positive, a true statement. If it's true, it's done. If it's um, false, it's in progress. There's a lot going on there. It took me a lot of time to get my head around. So don't worry if you need to play about with this. But what we now see is when the box is checked, it says done. And when the box is not checked, it's in progress. I've clicked on the cell and I've just pulled that down to autofill the rest of them. Again, tick done, not ticked, in progress. But you'll notice nothing happens unless there is writing in that B column. And then again, we've got done, in progress. So it's a great thing to work out. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on the how to use numbers.